Whenever you're ready. Perfect. Good evening, everybody, and thank you, and welcome to the second portion of tonight's meeting, Public Works and Recreation. Uh, I am your chair, Councillor Trombetta. Uh, any change in orders on, the, on items on the agenda? Seeing none. Uh, any disclosure of peculiar interest or conflict of interest? Seeing none. Uh, there are no appointments. Anybody here to request any items on the agenda? Looks like the gallery is left. Uh, we'll head on to consent agenda items. Item PW0820, Consent Agenda Items, uh, the Public Works Recreation hereby approves the following Consent Agenda Items. Uh, sorry, did I miss something, Councilor Gannon? No, no, I'm just getting ready to continue. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, items number 1, 2, 3, 4 be uh, hereby and received for information. Uh, item number 1, which, so sorry, uh, and 1, 2, 3 be here for information. Um, I need a mover and a seconder, Councilor Gannan. And uh, Mayor Balsma, uh, anybody would like to pull any of these items? Councillor Gannan? Um, I'll pull one, but it doesn't really matter. You'll pull one? My comments, my comments are reflective of all four, but I'll pull one for the sake of having sure. one to pull. Do you okay. like to pull one as well? Uh, Just Councilor? a technical thing on, yeah, so pull number two as well. Okay. So I need a mover and a seconder to pull item number one, or one number one and two, and we'll maybe do three and four. No, we vote on all the rest. Am I confused right now? Yeah. Okay. Oh, we'll do it together? Okay. So is everybody okay with three and four? All right. Uh, all those in favor of three and four? Three and four? And that's carried. Uh, Councilor Ganan, you got the floor for number two? Or number Te one? Technically, I pulled one, but, but I just... Um, I just, you know, I know it would be very easy because these are in consent to say nothing and just to, to pass it all. But I do know how very much um, amount of work goes into any kind of report for any occasion, for any any group, any organization, any anything. And and I, I just want to commend Steve and, the, and his crew and the work that he's done. The the report process is is um, very work intensive, very labor intensive, and and. A, Continually, it's not like just you know this report has to be pulled together. But if you read through them, you know that there's a great deal of work done all of the time, over and over again. And and the bottom line is that's why I said it didn't matter which one I pulled. They they're all sort of reflective and get rolled into the other, uh, to the point where it just shows what excellent work is being done. And so I I just wanted to make sure that 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 work was being commended. So thank you, uh, Councilor and Council Cody. I just had a quick question. Um, Information is never bad. Can we not put some sort of motion in place that we just automatically and always accept things for information? Like, why do we have to vote to accept it for information? But I think because it's, it's, it's still a consent, so we're really just approving it anyways. We're really not, we're receiving the information and we're aware of it. So we're really not discussing discussing it. Yeah. Unless it's pulled. Sorry. Okay. So f further to that, I bet Mr. McGee has something to say about Mr. our McGee. responsibility Mr. in McGee. terms of that. So go. Councilor Yonker, you pulled number one? I pulled number two. Number two? Sorry. I and mean, I'm trying to find... Sorry. Basically, oh, you want to vote on number one first? Oh, I thought they were together. Sorry. No. I'll vote on number one. Okay, so I'd like to uh, call the vote on number... Uh, count the mayor did. No. Oh, sorry. I thought it was first time. Okay. Uh, it was moved by Councilor Ganan, seconded by Mr. Mayor on number one. All those in favor? And that's carried. Now it's number two. Councillor Yonker. Moving in. Moving in. Yep. Seconder would be. Oh, the 
Okay, Councilor Coley. Sure, perfect. But yes, thanks, Steve, for the reports here. Um, definitely a lot of work goes into this. There's, this is ongoing all year. We, we, as councillors, we did go to a training session, and it, it is important, right, that we, we know what's going on. Um, I can very thankfully say um, it, the, the numbers of repairs are great. Um, I think it was just the three that we had to do a service water service I lost the page I had written it down but there's a report that says we had three service water service calls shows three but it, above it it shows five now I just lost the page 16 maybe I can find it here so it's, I think it's just a little numbers thing I don't know if that's important that we just realize that and, and fix that in the report or right because it says in, two, in I'm on page 16 of 74 in 2019 there were no water main repairs so that just goes to show how well our staff does on maintaining the equipment keeping it up to date right and then there's three water service repairs and later on there is a chart showing those repairs wage street whatever but just above there it showed here it is, found it. Page 24 of 74. In 2019, the Township of West Lincoln performed five. I think you meant to, that meant to be a three. Is, am, am I correct? I think I just want to reiterate something you said, Councillor Jonker. I think you're saying that the maintenance, I think we've been lucky with weather, why so many water main breaks haven't came about. Usually when we get to minus temperatures, you know, speaking to the experts across, because I know what field they are, that's what kind of saves us from having water main breaks more or less. Am I correct, Mr. Manager? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not sorry to not give staff credit, but... Minus 30, minus 20 weather for a couple weeks, you're going to have a lot more water main breaks. But I think the weather has something to do with, obviously, not uh, having so many breaks. You want to reiterate a little bit? Maybe correct me if I'm wrong there. Is it all PVC here? Can you explain asbestos concrete to me? Because that sounds awful. Yeah. I could do it too, but you can go ahead. No. It is. Yeah, I, I was a project manager at an insurance restoration company, so asbestos is a panic word. I just wanted to. <laughs> the asbestos comes out when you cut or break. That's more or less, yeah. Councillor, uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Riley. Um, I knew you were coming to me. So, yeah, I, I'll just make this quick. I know when I was going through, it's always relieving to see, uh, a relief to see um, when the thing indicates you got zero adverse effects that are being noted, and even the inspection re uh, risk rating being at zero percent. I realize this comes from a different form, but I just wanted to note, even for the record, that uh, 
Um, it's nice to have it because the community doesn't necessarily get to see this stuff unless they really go searching for it. But to know, considering what other communities have had to deal with in the past, with I think it was, oh my goodness, like maybe sometime last year, there's something that was going around with some of the schools that was having some issues with their water. Um, that was based on old plumbing or piping, whatever it was. Uh, so just uh, for what it's worth having on the record, just even see this final inspection rating of 100% was zero chance or zero um, inspection risk um, of rating uh, is really comforting. So thank you for all the good work you guys do. Thank you. All in favor of, oh, you know, oh, that, that, all in favor of uh, number one, that's carried. Oh, number two, sorry, is back and forth. Number one, number two. That's why I wanted to combine them both. Moving on. Uh, item number staff reports. Uh, Project Manager Ray Vachon and Director of Public Work Recreation, Meister Mike DePaula, recommendation report RFD PW 11 2020. 2020 Bridge Rehabilitation Tender Award, PW 2904A, budget amendment. That report RFD PW 11 2020 dated February 18, 2020 regarding the 2020 Bridge Rehabilitation Tender Award, PW 2019-04A, budget amendment be received, and that council award the contract to Clearwater Structures at the negotiated price of $1,305,000. plus HST to undertake the rehabilitation of Bridge 16 North Creek and Bridge 29 Dockstetter, and that council hereby approve a budget amendment of 592000 for the rehabilitation of Bridge 16 North Creek and Bridge 29 Dockstetter, and the revised financing as outlined in Appendix B, and that a bylaw be passed to authorize the mayor and clerk to enter into an agreement with Clearwater Structures. I need a mover. Councilor Cody, a seconder. Mr. Mayor, comments or questions? Uh, Mr. Mayor. I just wanted to say I'm glad that these structures are now getting dressed. I know we had a uh, reboot, but um, I think it's important to um, highlight this uh, for for the community that we're still part is part of that ongoing hard work of uh, making sure our infrastructure is up to snuff. So, kudos to staff. It's just curiosity if I had a question through you uh, to myself too, Mr. Um, Director. The 592, obviously, it's a budget amendment. It hits. This year, it hits this year five nine like the budget amendment of five ninety two. Where is it? Like maybe I'm confused. We're amending the budget. Of yeah, through uh, right? to the chair. If you refer to Appendix B mm -hmm. of the report, um, the original it lays out the available approved budget for those two bridges, mm -hmm. and the tenders that came in were. Um, or much higher than the approved budget, so that's why we're asking for this budget amendment of 592. It's so the budget amendment is for this year currently, not for the 2020 budget. Well, it's for 2019. Right. Okay. That's and then, uh, and then the the funding scenario was presented in Appendix B. How we're funding that budget amendment. Okay. Okay. So uh, I'll call the vote. All those in favor. And that's carried. Moving on, uh, item PW 1020, Director of Public Works and Recreation, Mr. DePaul, the recommendation report to RFD PW 06 2020, Enhanced Services for the Niagara Regional New Waste Management Collecting Contract. That, a re recommendation report number RFD PW 06 2020, dated February 18th, 2020, regarding Enhanced Services for Niagara Regional New Waste Management Collection Contract be received, and that the correspondence received from the Niagara Region Catherine Habermel, Director of Wastewater Management Service, dated uh, December 10, 2008, regarding confirmation of West Lincoln's enhanced and optional service for the Niagara Region's new waste management collecting contract be received, and that the Niagara Region be advised that the Township of West Lincoln wishes to continue with its current enhanced services as follows. A, one additional curbside garbage collection day per week, and seven garbage containers per property, per collection for industrial, commercial, institutional, CI, IC, and, and I, and mixed use properties inside designated business areas at an annual estimated cost of 13520 plus HST, as well as a current contain, containerized garbage collection at the multi 
residential buildings and municipal facilities at an annual estimated cost of $13,650 and that the Niagara region be advised that the Township of West Lincoln will require the optional enhanced services of. In ground collection at MRICNI and MU properties and an estimated cost per unit stop for crane collection of 100 per stop based on front end collection at West Lincoln Community Care Center property. That the Niagara region be advised that the Township of West Lincoln is not interested in the optional enhanced services of every other week bulky goods collection at MR buildings with seven or more units at MU properties with one or more units at the annual estimated cost of 37,450 plus HST. I need a mover. Mr. Mayor, Councilor Yonker, comments or questions? Um, I have one. I remember we had a recommendation about going back to find out Niagara Falls was doing. Is that nothing to do with this? Has nothing to. I thought there was something in this that actually spoke to directly address the fact that the CAO was going to. Hold on, let me look it up. I actually found it. CAO. Madam CAO? Yeah, we. Um, can you, can you uh, yeah, Councillor Riley is correct. I think on page uh, page five of the report, there's a paragraph in there at the December 16th. I'm sorry. Yeah, sorry. It just reads at the December 16th, 2019 council meeting. The following motion was passed. And then it just this report at the time of writing this report, the township CAO has reached out to the mayor and city of Niagara Falls to set up a meeting to discuss the matter further. I don't know if you have any further information. So how does on that, that tie with this at all? Okay, well, the, the um, I think I can, actually I don't remember why it came about in December. Um, I do recall. I can recall now um, that and. I, it was actually me who, made, who asked the director to include that line in there just so that that, um, that direction that we had, and that was a, I guess it was um, a direction that came out of that last meeting uh, through Councillor Rayner, and we have set up a meeting, but it doesn't take place until next week, and it's uh, the mayor and I are going to be having a conversation with the mayor, Diodati, and Ken Todd, the CAO for the City of Niagara Falls, just to find out what they're doing specifically with respect to their thoughts about um, collection. They have made a, a motion to um, come out of the regional um, system and we'll, we're going to get an update on that. Councilor Rayner. It was back on uh, Channel 11 a couple weeks ago mayor once again was speaking out and saying that it's like a 30 percent increase it's a backwards thing uh, we can do it much better we can do it more efficiently we can do it more cost effectively we can still give weekly garbage pickup and the region saying well if you opt out then that means that the other people that are left are going to have to pay more and I looked at my wife and I said not if we go with Niagara Falls that's that's the region's problem but anyways um, like I said I had a meeting with with uh, the mayor um, happened to sit with him at Christmas dinner and he's he's adamant about this that he's got something that will work it will be more cost-effective and uh, the direction that the region's going is just going to stink everybody's garage up and get flies all over your house because it's 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 crazy to have garbage laying around in, in a heat wave in the summertime and there's no need for it he said so I'm optimistic I'm very pleased that you're having the meeting with the actual mayor um, because he was the one that I spoke to so um, you'll get it from him. If it works for us, it works for us. If it doesn't, but you're, you're going to the person who's heading this and has a lot of support from council members of Niagara Falls. So there's got to be something to this, or Jim wouldn't go on TV and he wouldn't be going on, unless there's something substantial that would work. I just can't see him doing that. So I'm, I'm optimistic that maybe there's something in this for us that would give us the level that we're used to and not pay more and get less in return. Thank you. Thank you. Any other comments, questions? Councilor Riley? Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, I, I too have crossed paths with Jim not too long ago, actually at the the police chief gala there, and uh, and um, he was chatting with a couple other people, and I believe this just kind of came up. Um, there, somebody was asking him, so I kind of 
poke my head in and had a, a little conversation with him as well. And he didn't really give on any specific details other than um, what Councilor Rainer's uh, mentioning is that uh, whatever they have um, planned or organized, there definitely seems to be uh, a direction that it's going to be more cost effective. I think the real question now comes, what is the initial startup or whatever it is that they potentially are going to propose? That could be where it could affect a smaller municipality like us. But I am very curious to see where this ends up. And uh, yeah, I think uh, at the very least it looks like we did our due diligence in ensuring that before we commit to anything that, or before we make a decision of any capacity that we've literally turned over every stone possible. I just find it hard to believe that we don't get a lot from the region, uh, to me. And, and there's there's a, a huge number on the Sunshine List, and it's the highest employer. And and now we're getting almost a six percent increase. And one of the few things that people in the country say, well, at least I got my garbage pickup, and now they're taking that away. It it it's. It's like there's nothing left. We're paying, it's up to 55% now uh, of our tax dollar goes to the region. And in return, we're going to pay more for garbage pickup and we're going to get it less frequently. And that's, and in the country especially, that means more garbage in the ditches. It, it, it's just, what are we getting for our dollar anymore? I mean, more taxes and less service. Like, that's not what it's supposed to be. But it, it's, it's frustrating. Mr. Mayor? Well, I think we need to be careful. We don't just get no, garbage collection, just. right? Like, um, uh, yes, there was an increase in the region. Um, the region, the region's number one expenditure is policing. And this year, um, it's going to be a very difficult move, but they're adding 40 FTEs, yeah. um, uh, of which we will see a, a, a significant increase in the amount of boots on the ground or cruisers in the street or whatever we want to say but because we, they heard what municipalities have been asking of them and they they did a study um, because they, they wanted to actually have data and science determine what their ask could be and and it was significant and um, and so they came forward so like I, the region does tend to be another level of government above where you have kind of those intangible things. But, you know, um, all that to say, uh, we, we do get, we, we have seen an increase in the region's commitment to West Lincoln in form of policing. And this, Madam CAO and I do have that meeting scheduled for next week uh, with the mayor of Niagara Falls. We're always looking for rock, turning over rocks and, and see if we can get uh, squeak a few more bucks uh, for, uh, 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 in good service for our um, municipality, but uh, just um, uh, um, Director of Finance threw a number at me uh, just to kind of get a perspective. Um, currently, um, <coughs> the way it stands, we spend about $160 per household on garbage collection uh, per year. Um, so just kind of uh, sometimes people want to know that if we're going to open up a contract, there's going to be some legal obligations and the, and uh, I, I really appreciate the mayor of Niagara Falls f for the way that he, he says it. He, he should know he does vet or he does qualify his, um, his comments, you know, saying we're going to look at this and we're gonna, we, there's a way, but he does qualify it by saying, you know, we're looking at it. And, and, um, and in the end, he's made no commitment one way or the other. He's exploring the option. And so, you know, it's good to have the discussion. I just want us to be realistic um, that um, in the end, uh, the, the providers that the region has done through procurement, full-on procurement process uh, will probably hold the day um, because of the thoroughness of the, um, of the contract and the way that they negotiate. So just, let's just... Let's be, put our realistic caps on and, and uh, not imagine um, some grandiose uh, windfall for... Well, for if there's any consolation, I did get pulled over today, so they're out there. Yep, there you they go. They pulled Good. me over because my license plate was, was uh, peeled and he couldn't read it. But if I had the new Ford license plate, they wouldn't be able to see it. So there you go. <laughs>
I did on Park Road, in West Lincoln. I, 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 Just on the top of the hill, because my, my plate wasn't, yeah. like, the, it was peeled. The number, yeah. he couldn't make out the number. Like I said, if I had the new Ford plates, they wouldn't be able to see them. Okay, wow. I mean, that's that Waste all that money. Anyways, uh, that's all of them, so uh, call the vote. All those in favor of this? And that's carried. Members of council, any other business of informative nature? I'll start to my right. Councillor Cody, Councillor Jonker, Councillor Ganan, Madam CAO, Madam Clerk, Councillor uh, Riley, Councillor Bosma. I'm good. Uh, Councillor, Mr. Councillor Rayner. I just have one thing I, I did note, uh, you know, because I'm public works, it's just my condolences went out to Ray Vachon, please. Uh, lost his mother and it's a sad time. Uh, I did send him a message and I see that he sent an email back, so that, that was nice. So just condolences to Ray and uh, his family. So no new items of business, any other confidential matters there are none, and so I'll adjourn the meeting at 1032. Thank you. Thank you. Are you okay with it? You don't need it anymore? No, no, no.